everybody. Today I'm going to talk about the evolution of the violin. Though I already know how to play the violin, I don't know much about the history, so I decided to do my capstone project on this topic. When the violin was made, people thought that the lira de bacho was the mother of the violin, but that is not true. Rather, the other than luthier no, experimented, tinkered, and played around with the viola de bacho to turn it into the violin. During the Baroque era, string instrument players played in a small, echoing space, so the violin didn't need to be so loud. But now, larger orchestras are more popular, and they play in a larger space, so modifications needed to be made. One major change was the length of the bass bar. A bass bar in a Baroque violin is shorter than a bass bar in a modern violin. This change needed to be made because the string tension became greater. To support the greater tension, the bass bar became longer. The sound post was made for a similar reason. Because the string tension became greater, the belly or the top was in danger of breaking or cracking, so the sound post was invented. This picture was taken through the hole where the end button is inserted with the light shining in through the F holes. The sound post is added in after everything is assembled, so it is inserted, inserted through the F hole with the tool pictured on the right. The sound post was found to influence the sound so much that the Italians started calling it anima or soul. When the old way of attaching strings to the body didn't work anymore because the string tension was so great, the tailpiece and end button was made. The tailpiece holds the strings and the end button attaches the tailpiece to the body. In a Baroque violin, the, viol the neck is nailed in with just one nail, but that wasn't sturdy enough to support the string tension, so now the neck is fitted in. Also, to make the violin louder, the neck is set at more of an angle to increase the string tension. Although many changes were made to make the violin louder, there were other reasons too. The fingerboard in a Baroque violin is shorter than the fingerboard on a modern violin. A longer fingerboard allows players a greater range of notes, and composers can also get more creative when they write music. The F holes in the violin used to look like C holes, but they look like F holes now because the F shape proved to be essential to the arched body, and it had a better effect on the wood tension than the C shape holes. A Baroque bow stick is convex and looks like a hunting bow, while the modern bow is concave. This change was made because a concave stick responded better to pressure from fingers and wrists and made different kinds of articulation possible. There are some recent inventions for the violin. A horn is attached to a violin to make it louder. This type of violin is called the strobe violin. Another invention is the electric violin. This type has no body and uses an amplifier instead of a horn. Thank you for watching.